So in the last session, we have discussed the type of the IP addresses, which are the IPv4 and IPv6. Let's see more about the IPv4. The IP address that you can see on the screen is 21.33.250.89. This representation is called dotted decimal, means that each number is represented in the decimal and they are separated by dots. And when this IP address is converted into binary, each number will be represented by 8 bits. You cannot represent one number in more than 8 bits. So when this number is converted into binary, you will get something like this and uh, together you can see that there are total 32 bits now suppose I want to find the range of the IPv4 and to find the range of the IPv4 I have to know the first address and the last address in the IPv4 so to find the first address what I can do is I set all 32 bits to 0. When it is converted to decimal, you will get number which is 0.0.0.0, .0 and it is the first IP address in the IPv4. And to find the last address, I'll set all the 32 bits to 1. And when I set this all 32 bits to 1, and when it is converted to decimal, you will get 255.255.255.255 so now we have the starting address of the IPv4 which is 0.0.0.0 and the last address is 255.255.255.255 but how many numbers are between them so you can think that total 32 bits so the combination is 2 raised to 32 and when you find the number you will get 4,294,967,296 IP addresses. Too many right? But as of the 2020 there are total 20 billion devices that are connected to internet. And if we were still using the IPv4 then it wasn't possible to connect that many devices. So that is why there is IPv6. The internet is the combination of IPv4 and IPv6. The whole internet is not using IPv6 or IPv4. It is the combination. To manage 4 billion IP addresses, they divided this number of IP addresses into 5 blocks which is class A, class B, class C, class D and class E. So how to know the class of the IP address? Let's find that. So this is the example of IP address for which we want to find the class which is 190.33.89.55. To find the class of the IP address we have to see the first number of the IP address. If the first number is in range between 0 to 127, it is called class A IP address. If the first number is between 128 to 191, means it is a class B IP address. If it is between 192 to 223, means it is a class C IP address. If it is 224 to 239 means it is a class D IP address and if it's 240 to 255 means it is a class E IP address. Uh, from the first number you can find the class of the IP address. The class A, class B and class C are called unicast means that these address are allocated to single device. These addresses are for one device only. The class D is for multicast means that this address is for more than one devices and the class E is reserved for development purpose. 
Now as you can see, there are many houses which are under the same network. The IP address which is allocated to this house is 190.33.89.5 and from this IP address you can get two information. The first information is that in which network this house belongs and the second information is the ID of this house and to get this two information the first thing you should know is the class of the IP address. To find the class of the IP address, you have to check the first number of the IP address. So this first number is in the range of the class C. So this IP address belongs to class C. In class C IP address, the first three number are for network and the last number is for host. Now what is the meaning of the network and host? The network ID means that this number remains fixed throughout the, all the houses in network. And host means that this number will keep changing for each and every house. So in this figure, all the house will have the same network ID but the host ID will be keep changing. So if you see the IP address of the first house, you will get 190.33.89.0. The next house will get 190.33.89.1. Then after 190.33.89.2. You can notice that the network ID is fixed but the host ID is keep changing, right? And if we keep going like this, we will get the last number, which is 190.33.89.255. So you can say that for the network 190.33.89, there are total 0 to 255 means 256 devices or 256 houses can be connected. So under the network 190.33.89 there are 256 houses connected. So the 190.33.89 represent the whole network and the host ID represent particular house. Now what if I want to add one more device in the network 190.33.89? So to add one more device, we have to add one to the last IP address. And if we add one to the IP address 190.33.89.255, we will get 190.33.90.0. So you can see the network ID is changed, means that you cannot add one more device to this network because this network is full, right? What is the first address of this network? The first address of this network is 190.33.89.0 and the last address of this network is 190.33.89.255 and generally the first address and the last address is not allocated to any devices because the first address represents the whole network and the last address is for broadcast address. So let's see one more example. We want to find the network and the host for the given IP address 193.83.87.9. To find the network and the host, the first thing you should do is to find the class of the IP address. The class of the IP address can be found from the first number of the IP address. If you check the first number of this IP address, you can see that this IP address is belong to class C because the first number is in the range for the class C IP address. 
For the class C IP address, the first three number belong to network and the last number belong to host. Means that throughout the network, the value 193.83.87 remains same. Last value is keep changing throughout the network. So what is the value of network? The value of the network is 193.83.87 and the value of the host is .9 and what is the first address of the network? The first address of the network is 193.83.87.0 You can see the network value is fixed but the value for the host is 0 means the first value and the last address of the network is 193.83.87.255 again the value of the network is same but the last value is change and if you increase 1 to the last address of this network the network will be changed right now these are the examples that you have to find by yourself you have to find the class of the IP address, you have to find the network ID and the host ID. So this is it for today's session. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you.